Hey folks, Daily Lines Blog, 27th of February, 2019. Two days with Corey Landsberg talking about anxiety. And, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say that it takes a lot to teach me something about mental health, because of course that's not true. But specifically when you talk about how mental health, anxiety, and depression feel, it's not that often that I go, well, you know, I never thought about that because I think about it all the time. I talk about it all the time and it's been a lifetime of anxiety and about 20 years of depression. So I thought I knew it all and I thought that I could explain it all. But then Corey said something that I know really resonated with a lot of people and certainly resonated with me. And that is, what is anxiety? Anxiety is the inability to apply common sense to normal challenges common sense the thing that allows us to look at some concern that we may be struck with and think ourselves through it to rationalize it to solve it almost like it's an equation just using average iq average life experience average common sense and that has really stuck with me because i think it explains a lot sort of what goes on in my mind and um i'd like to know how well that resonates with you. And I know that for somebody, and I'll, I'll read this out, the comment that, uh, or one of the comments, one of the many comments that we got was, thank you for defining this so clearly, Corey. I didn't even realize I had anxiety until I listened to you guys explain it. That is such a fascinating thing about mental health, about depression and anxiety. The idea that someone could be suffering without knowing it may seem really weird until you actually start to think about that. You think about it like this. Well, I have never lived in anyone else's head. I've never experienced how other people think about things. So sometimes you can think, you can make the assumption that this process that you go through is normal. And then all of a sudden you hear somebody else talk about it and it's exactly the same thing. And you say to yourself, wow, you know what? That's me. And that's happened to me a lot of times speaking, giving speeches about mental illness and in particular about depression. People will go, wow, you know, I heard you talk about the loss of the ability to experience joy. I talked uh, about the loss of self-esteem and hopelessness and loneliness. And I started to think about it and I started to think, well, you know, maybe that's me. And in Corey's case, he's allowed some people to think, well, you know what, maybe that's me as well. By the way, Kay, speaking of uh, Landsberg Offsprings, how you doing? You've had, uh, you've had a little battle with... Uh, what 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 uh, was the diagnosis? Uh, inflammation in my cornea. Right, caused likely by uh, bacteria. You went to the doctor today, and the doctor said, "How many? How how much improvement?" Seventy five percent. So stay tuned for tomorrow. Well, no, you won't get an update tomorrow. You go back on Friday, right? Yeah, because I'm sure people really care about this. Hey, Casey, do you care about Casey Landsberg? And her situation with her eyes. Do you care? I bet her, her good eye. Yeah, I know. That was... Uh, that, oh, God, that's causing me some worry now. So here's the process in my head. So I think, okay, well, um, she has um, a scratch probably somewhere where a little bit of an infection got in. Uh, it's 75% improved. Logic would tell you that or would tell me, well, it's going to continue to improve. Doctor never said it was a huge issue. But now I start to catastrophize things and I start to think of, well, what if, what if, and those two words, what if, are the most dangerous words in the world for somebody with anxiety. Sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. What if I return tomorrow and expand on this? What if you don't make my problems about you? What? what That's why we didn't tell you. What, what if? That's it. Just what if? 